Last year, I created a bespoke shoe box design for the release of Puma's new future supercharged football boot, sported by none other than the man himself, Neymar Jr. Being one of my bucket list design projects and only having a few days to get it into production, here's how I designed and delivered an unboxing experience for one of the most influential football stars on the planet. Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to a new series that I'm calling The Debrief. It's a series where I talk through the step-by-step -step process of a live project that I've previously worked on. There's a lot to be learned and there's a lot of valuable information within the creative process. So let's rewind the timeline and cast our minds back to January 2023. So before I start, it's important that we understand the brief to know what the ask is, any considerations and how long we have to do it. Spoiler, not very long. So to mark the launch of Puma's new lead boot for 2023, we want to create a set of bespoke cedar boxes containing the product to be distributed to an array of social creators and talent. We want to deliver an excited unboxing experience in which recipients will have to locate and decipher codes hidden across the exterior box design in order to open it via a numbered padlock. The deadline is in three days and that includes any client and print of feedback so better get going. The part that took me a bit of time to get my head around was the actual build of the box and this was super important because it had massive implications of the overall design. The box will be made up of two parts. There is a base structure and then a lid which is attached from the back after printing. This then wraps over the top of the box and fastens at the front. The front panel is magnetic to hold it in place with the hole allowing the handle to come through. There will be a padlock attached meaning you cannot open the box until the code has been cracked and the padlock is removed. With the print deadline being so tight, there's not actually enough time to produce multiple mopped up routes to present to the client. So instead, I put together a number of mood boards just to land the overall aesthetic to send over and confirm before we start designing, just to make sure we're on the right track. So being the future boot, I decided to focus on the idea of the future and specifically what the future of unboxing would actually look like. I started exploring the idea of these space station style boxes, reminiscent of those that you might see in a video game. This was early 2023 and Metaverse chat was hot so this is definitely something i wanted to tap into stick around to the end of the video and you might actually see what that would look like it's insane but i was picking out elements from each of them details colors thinking about how this would work on my own box and how i can sort of include those hidden details mentioned in the brief the vibrant colorways played into the brand palette and the power tape design there were also lots of these buttons screens stickers which i thought would work perfectly for our clues what i liked about these futuristic reference images but what also presented a bit of a problem was the physical structure of the boxes these examples have a lot of depth rivets angles which make up an overall interesting shape, we have a completely flat box. So I needed to come up with a way to somehow mimic that and create some depth with shadows and highlights. Good news is that shortly after that, the client signed off the idea for approval and it was time to start designing. So building on from my sketches, I had the initial idea for a layout. So I started by taking the flat plan of the box lid into Illustrator and building up my base structure. If I could nail down the structure first and have them split into different layers, then I could easily add in the details and graphics in Photoshop after. One of the hardest parts of this was figuring out how the corners would connect to each other once folded. And if I added these removed dark areas, which I was gonna use to mimic the depth and angles of a 3D modern box, would they actually look real or would they just look a bit weird? I also decided to add in these metal corner brackets and panels such as the front padlock section, which were all gonna provide additional layers for additional depth. Once I was happy with the direction of the lid, I applied a similar design to the base of my box. At this point, I thought it'd be super helpful to have a very rough 3D mock-up, which I created to scale in Blender. This was just so I had a better idea of how this would come together. I noticed various issues with the alignment across the corners and panels not looking right, which I had to keep fixing, but we got there in the end. It's all well and good designing on a flat screen, but if you're creating something physical, it's always good practice to try and visualize how that would look as closely as possible to the real life thing. This might show you some visibility issues, sizing issues, and, and things like that. Here is my base layout. It doesn't look that much now, but it was time for the fun part. Added in the graphics and the details, which is really gonna bring this design to life. So the first thing I wanted to focus on was adding in shadows and highlights to give this design some much needed depth. I used a combination of drop shadows and painting in with a soft brush to make these look as authentic as possible without distracting too much from the overall design. I then thought it'd be nice to add in some glowing lights, highlighting the area around them so it looked illuminated. By doing this on each panel was already helping everything look a lot less flat. The good thing is about a lot of these effects is that once I was happy with them, I could simply just copy and paste them onto other elements of the box. So it made it quite simple to apply it to every panel. One thing to do though was to double check and make sure that all the shadows were 
falling the right way. I'm obviously designing this box flat, but it's going to be folded in real life. So all the shadows are going to be going in different directions. I then added a few additional panels, dips and details to the structure to make it look like a functional cargo container, along with these little bolt marks and some metal grates. All these little details did a great job of adding to the overall aesthetic and just making each side slightly more interesting. The other thing I was cautious about was actually having enough going on on each panel so the clues didn't just stand out. We wanted people to be able to find them fairly easy as sort of the main purpose of this was to create an unboxing moment on socials but we equally didn't want it super obvious and people just find it first try. So the Puma logo was one of the crucial elements of this design. We wanted the logo front and center for when people were unboxing the boots but I wanted to ensure that it fitted in with the rest of the overall aesthetic. I was initially playing about with having this engraved on the top of the lid and then it did look cool but I thought it would stand out a bit more if we made it into this neon glowing light panel which I did by adding a soft outer glow. I liked how this reflected the power contained within the box so I continued to implement more lighting elements on each panel to enforce this idea of energy. This was going to work perfectly for the power tape motif which I traced from the shoe and then placed on either side of the box. So now that I've got the main brand elements down, I wanted to add a few more minor details along with the actual clues. I worked on each panel one by one, added in some engraved text, decals, additional lights, and of course the clues. I wanted to keep everything tied in with the overall design, so I decided to mock this reference up as an electrical hazard sticker, which I could place on this side. Not every detail was going to be a clue, so I needed a way of letting people know whether it was a clue or not. I decided to create this little padlock icon, which could be placed alongside Side each clue so people knew they were on the right track. I added references to each panel and finished up adding all of the final details to the box so that every panel had quite a bit to analyse. I also added a little easter egg with uh, my initials on it. Uh, my lucky number is seven so I thought LM77 made sense. So I tell Puma. And once I was happy with my overall design, I finished it off by adding a faint metal texture to all of my metal elements. As well as having my 3D reference that I mentioned earlier, before sending it to the client, I also printed this at full scale on paper and stuck it all together. It was super useful to see how all of these elements would actually look printed to scale. I went around each individual bit of text, double checking the spelling and also double checking that all the references were actually correct. Because you know, football Twitter were going to be onto me if they weren't. So once I was done, it was finally time to send it over to the client and with a faint prayer we were ready to go we're almost there it's the home stretch and the client feedback was in thankfully it wasn't too bad there was a couple of minor changes which just meant changing the color of some of the decals from white to blue just to ensure there was a bit more of that blue color from the shoe coming through on the overall design which makes perfect sense and was an easy fix so with that being amended it was time to get the assets ready for print and sent off to the printers we got the all clear from the printers and the prototypes arrived pretty swiftly into the office and they look like this. Yeah, I didn't actually get to keep one. We only made a super limited number and it turns out they're actually very expensive to make. But I did take some footage on my phone to show you how that turned out. I was happy with how these were looking and just like that, they were packaged up and sent out of the office to our influencers, to our talent to film their unboxing videos. I got super positive feedback internally from the client and also from the talent with a couple of them actually saying they liked the box so much they couldn't throw it away and it is now on their shelves at home, which is exactly what I wanted to go for. But it doesn't stop there. No matter how much I like this outcome, I couldn't stop thinking. I couldn't stop dreaming. What would this actually look like if it was in a video game? What would this actually look like if it was in the metaverse? So, of course, we had to find out. Come on, how mental does that look? I would love to say that that's something I threw together and had a little bit of downtime, but we saw my 3D earlier on in this video. 
not great. So big shout out to Vali for helping me visualize this. Incredible 3D designer. I will link them down below their YouTube and their Instagram. So go and check them out. But that is it for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed. If you have, please like, comment and subscribe because it really does help the video. That was the future supercharged boot. Got plenty more coming in this series very soon. And until then, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you again soon. So take care and uh, nib it.